You know, somebody told me early on, you know, most deals die three or four times before they actually, you know, get to closing. That's right. I've seen my deals die many deaths, you know, even prior to the closing <laughs> because of some due diligence related issues. So I'm just so happy to have you guys here today where you can share, you know, some knowledge with our audience um, related to the due diligence process, which is so critical. Um, so, you know, most people don't talk about the mistakes that they've made hmm. in this business. They only talk about how much money they've made or a lot of the aspiring developers, whether young, old, looking at changing their careers, just think about, hey, I get in real estate development, I'm going to make a lot of money. Yeah. They don't think about the risk involved in this business and the mistakes that are made and how costly they are. You know, just share with us, you know, just what was one of the biggest mistakes you made early on in your career, Jim? Uh, I can tell you, I, I know exactly when it was. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I worked for a larger firm and one of the big partners sent me into a meeting and I thought we had the deal locked up. He yeah. said, oh, just go over there, hang out at the meeting, sign a few papers, it'd be fine. All the, unknown to me, the big guy from the other side showed up and he looked at me and he said, Sonny, we ain't got a deal. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, I'm not ready to sign these papers. So we lost the deal, and I don't know why, but I was the sacrificial lamb, but I didn't have enough confidence to stand up and say, no, we got a deal, we had already been done. So I went back to the office, and the partner that sent me over there, he said, sometimes you gotta lose them to get them. That's right. And so ultimately, I think we got a better deal down the line, but uh, I had to be a sacrificial lamb and learned about confidence and standing up to some people. I mean, some of the best deals I've done, I never actually broke ground on them. Sometimes it is more advantageous to walk away from the deal Absolutely. as opposed to pushing forward. As I say in our organization all the time, you know, real estate 101, don't fall in love with any particular deal. That's right. Never fall in love with one particular deal. Sometimes you have to be willing to walk away. And that can save you a lot of money as opposed to having that ego and feeling as though just because you love that deal, you have to plow forward. 